it was six in the morning. I'm standing there at work, fucking empty as per. <laughs> and this guy comes up to me, fucking asshole. And he says, you know, you could smile. <laughs> he's not my supervisor. In, in fact, he's worked there less than I have. He's just the, there's no one fucking here. Fucking hell. So, I followed him home. I know, I know, it's weird, but I needed to know where he lived. And I needed to know who he lived with, because <laughs> who fucking likes him? Seriously. Then I woke up in the middle of the night and I needed a shit. And you know, I thought this was a weird occurrence because well, I've woken up needing to piss before, but, but never to shit. Like, that can wait till morning. <laughs> but not that night. No. This shit, this shit was special. You know, I, I thought I need to do something with this shit. So I put on my coat, I, I went out, and I shat on his doorstep. Yeah. Not on the gate. No, no, on his actual doorstep. There was even a map. <laughs> God, it was perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, I slept great that night. You know, angst free. So I started doing it every night. In the day, I would pick out my offenders, which is really easy because most people are assholes. <laughs> then I'd follow them home and shit on their doorstep. The problem was they needed to know it was human poo because dog shit is just not quite the same and that's when I started thinking about signs yeah yeah I, I found these little toothpicks <laughs> and these little pink post-it notes and I made these little flags that said this is human poo <laughs> fucking adorable because <laughs> there's no mistaking it <laughs> An actual human being had taken down their actual trousers and their underwear and shat on your mat. They may have taken a while. They may have even read a newspaper. But don't mistake it. They are a person who shat on your doorstep.